Oh, okay. Hey, don't worry. I'm just gonna be stuck perpetually at B plus. <laughs> I'll take You're a. Welcome. I'll take a C plus. Passing grade. Yeah. I just need to sell Gucci another it's, TV it's, stand. It's passable. <laughs> but enough about my com my uh, mediocre commentary. We got uh, Nebula and Dilster. I always forget his tag. Huh. I didn't realize Nebula was picking up Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, Sorry. Nebula Pokemon Trainer main now. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's playing a ton of uh, Pac-Man. But yeah, just primarily uh, Pokemon Trainer. And I, I think he likes Ivysaur a lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ivysaur definitely has some good disjoints to deal with the sword character. Oh, so. definitely. Ivysaur, really solid character on his own, but also has the rest of the bunch to help him out. Yeah, but right now Dilster's been doing a pretty good job of just weaving around all these whips and vines and getting in there and getting the damage. Keeping this damage going and just launching him up in the stage. Yeah, and Nebula kind of having a rough time against uh, Dilster's Lucina. Yeah, honestly, Dilster's been doing a pretty good job of just controlling the ground and forcing Nebula to play around yeah. him. There we go, getting another good hit set him off the stage here. Ooh, <laughs> going all the way for it. That, man that has, was close. Yeah, he has no fear going down that low. Yeah. Ivysaur's down air is a very good move. Yeah, and just I mean... ginormous. Yeah, and when you can just swap out to Charizard if things get hairy, that's mm -hmm. a scary thing to think about. Oh, no. An Esteen. Yeah. He's going Charizard. But yeah, I mean, you saw that whip reach the ledge there. I think he might have just accidentally hit down too quickly. Yeah, I think he just messed up. Yep. Almost got him. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Yep. And, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Yep. I'm going right back to Ivysaur. Oh, that was just, some. that was so unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, that flare blitz just goes so far now. You really have to be careful. Mm -hmm. You know Dilster is going to be taking full advantage of this lead that he's got now because of that. Oh, definitely. And maybe let's not able to land. No, I mean Dilster is just going up there, swatting yeah. them away. There we go. Nebula finally getting a bit of stage control here. Ooh, nice down there. Wasn't able to do anything out of it. Nope. So just a little bit more damage, but damage isn't what he's looking for. Almost looking to lose that stock there. Switching to Charizard, and yep. that'll do the first stock. There you go. This was the character, honestly, I was expecting him to use a little bit more. Yeah. Because Squirtle's small, fast, and can really rack up the damage quickly when you need him to. Yeah. It seems like he's been um, mainly just more comfortable with Ivysaur. Yep. Oh, but not going to be able to land and do anything on time and just gets F smashed. Yeah, I think he was looking for that ledge there, but with how much the camera moves in this game, I don't think he was able to see where that ledge was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you couldn't really see the, in that uh, situation, he couldn't really see the ground right there. Yeah, but right now what we're going to see is uh, some potential disappointment if I remember this situation this correctly. Is so oh, no, that was the sick jab reset. Yep. Yeah. And then the disappointment. Oh, so sad. Yep. But hey, that's just game one. He's got more games to go, so plenty of opportunities to bring it back. And going to town and city. Where they actually have internet. What are you, that hippo character from Rocko's Modern Life now? <laughs> How dare you! But we dare to go to Town and City for game two, so let's see how this plays out. And Nebula's starting with Squirtle this time. Yeah, I much more prefer this pick just yeah. because you're able to get through those disjoints a lot better. Oh, and just switching immediately to Ivysaur. I mean, if you're going to be losing your jump, may as well go to somebody with a bit further of a recovery. And Nebula with a much stronger lead this time. Yeah, able to rack up some early damage with Squirrel, and then this Ivysaur pick is now working out. Because I feel like Ivysaur honestly works a lot better when you're the one with the lead. Oh my gosh, almost hitting that up Yeah, I mean, he's definitely trying to push this advantage that he's developed for himself on the stage here. Ooh. Oh, oh my the gosh, switch. the godlike of Switch Ooh. Hips. Yep, just flare bits your way back to the stage, get those jumps back. 
Now that he's got Charizard out, all he needs is one hit. That was a really nice confirm, but not going to take it against uh, the ginormous Pokemon that he's got. Yeah, yeah there's... It's a really difficult spot when you're on that platform and you got a Sorty in front of you. Yeah, definitely. Going for the back there, not connecting. Yep. Remember when this stage used to be hazards? Nice times. <laughs> like a week ago. <laughs> yep. I mean, it was so long ago, man. I'm surprised you even remember that. <laughs> I mean, Nelly has definitely got the right idea just trying to go out here and get these Ooh, edge guards. Getting real greedy with that forward smash. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of it is he just can't find this kill. Even Ooh. with that dash attack, still yeah. not going to kill. If he would have ran up, grabbed, and up thrown with the platform being above it, that would have easily killed. Oh, yeah, that is true. Part of that may just be the character of familiarity. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I know Nebula was asking on Twitter uh, for Shadow, the Charizard main uh, from Smash yeah. Four, like for Charizard help, just because he doesn't understand. He might not understand oh, the yeah. character. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like Pokemon Trader is definitely one of those characters that you have to put a lot of time into understanding. Yeah, you got you got to learn three characters. <laughs> yep. Nice recovery high to at least make it back to the stage here, but that doesn't matter because... Uh, Air F smash. Yeah. Dilster kind of got it in. Oh. Dang. Getting hit with the up B on the way back. Yeah, losing his stock for that, but if he had gotten that gimp, that would have been it right there. There we go. Oh, no, no. Going for the second back there. Yep. But not but getting punished for it. Ooh. <laughs> four air, four airs everywhere. <laughs> yep. I mean, Squirtle's definitely got the speed to get around those disjoints, so I feel like this is definitely the Pokemon to at least start off with to get that damage going. Switching over to Ivysaur and still trying to get some pressure, but not much luck here. Ooh, going for that down air. Not quite getting that timing uh, down. Yep. Ooh, punish with the upbeat. This is looking not great for Nebula right now. Yeah, at least gets the up tilt to get some stage control here. Ooh, and that was a very nice confirm. Yeah, at least getting some more damage here, but mm -hmm. he's sitting at 125 now. He's going to need more than just damage at this point. Yeah, and a Charizard switch, but oh, that's man. not going to help. Yep, he just went right out there and just swatted that dragon, well, wannabe dragon away. Dilster looking real solid throughout that entire set. Yeah, I mean, he was just dancing around, using the disjoints to his advantage, and honestly just kept good...